Hello there, this is Christine Rose, and I am recording this because I needed a free gift for um, as part of a giveaway from a speaker series that I was very happy and honored to be a part of. And one of the things that this um, <clears throat> speaker series required was that we have a free gift that we can give away as part of it. And I don't have anything like that because I haven't been part of the marketing <laughs> marketing world and doing the you know um, online self promotion and that sort of thing for some time, a couple of years anyway. And I didn't really have anything prepared, so I'm going to prepare this and and I hope to give some tips here in this short video about walking our own talk and living a life that we love being truly authentic to ourselves and creating a life that reflects who we really are. And um, <clears throat> I'm happy to do that. But I also have created a free gift <laughs> that is a little bit uh, fun. And um, I don't know, it was a real thrill for me because I get to share with you um, one of my passions, which is living better. And I've actually got a Facebook page called Living Better in which I share a lot of content from, you know, whatever I come across during the day that I think is relevant and um, a lot of information that, uh, you know, really resonates with me as, as part of living a better lifestyle. So I do share a lot of information from <laughs> all sorts of sources on that page, as well as some of my own information and um, things that I just feel really inspired by, things that light me up. So there's that, but I also have a team there. So I've got a couple of people that I work with on Living Better and, you know, who are admins of the page with me. And um, we've all come together in the last year and started collaborating there. We're going to build some, some new things on the page and um, do some videos, have some, maybe some, um, you know, drop-in sort of calls where people can come on and ask questions. And uh, we've started a new series called Reflections where uh, we have a weekly meeting. Bjorn Simonson and I have a weekly meeting and um, we we just, you know, get together and start talking about whatever comes up for us um, in terms of like, I'm pretty tapped into what's going on in the collective consciousness. And so, you know, I observe things all week long type of thing and, you know, get sort of feelings and vibrations from everything that's happening. And um, typically what I do is I write. I'll write something down once in a while, like, I mean, not even, <laughs> not even on a weekly basis. Sometimes it's like just every once in a while, every month, I'll feel like, you know, something's coming up in me that I want to reflect and share uh, with others. So <clears throat> I'll write something. And that's typically how I work. Bjorn, he, um, he writes a lot more often than I do. Uh, he considers writing his main expression. And he puts together these really great little short stories with like comic strip type of thing and um, really deep, um, humorous. And sometimes they're, sometimes they're darker and heavier, but they're short and get to the point of the matter really, really quickly. And he's just a really wonderful writer. So um, I encourage you to go on Living Better and check out some of the things that we offer there. Um, <clears throat> but one of the other people with us is Holly, and she is very gifted with art and a very compassionate, sensitive person who wants to help inspire other people and, and loves uh, like teaching women how to know their own worth. And um, she, because she's such a great artist, I thought, wouldn't this be fun? if between Bjorn, her, and myself, we created a adult coloring page because I like to do adult coloring and it helps me get into um, a space of just sort of like moving meditation or drawing artsy meditation space where I allow my feelings to just come up and I sort of like can observe them and not be attached to them and just keep drawing and coloring and let that feeling go. And then another feeling will come up and it's just um, a really great way to get into my right brain after, you know, maybe working all week or whatnot. And when you're really heavy in your left brain, doing adult coloring can sort of make you more centered and also be like a meditation for yourself when you're just reflecting on thoughts as they arrive and 
sort of letting them pass through. So I enjoyed doing that. And I thought, what fun would it be <laughs> to create an adult coloring page that uh, reflects Bjorn, myself, and Holly as our animal totems. So like, like a spirit animal or an animal totem. Um, and I asked Holly about it. I said, Holly, you know, you're an excellent artist. Could you draw this for us? And we'll use it as part of the free gift. So she did, she, she created a lovely drawing that is the three of us as our animal totems. And um, we're gonna put it as part of this free gift here and also you know, share it on the website and um, anybody's welcome to find it and uh, you know, color it, try out the you know, adult coloring as a meditation <laughs> um, and as a source of fun and joy too. So um, the three of us, Bjorn is the bear, I'm the frog, and Holly is the gypsy moth. And uh, she's just done a really whimsical, fun uh, drawing, and I hope that you'll enjoy it, or you pass it on to your children or someone else that likes coloring. <laughs> and um, anyway, so that's there for you. Plus, I wanted to do this really short video, which is turning into a bit longer of a video, so I'll try to be relatively quick for the rest. But um, I wanted to share that in addition to the call that I did with Christina about walking your talk and, um, you know, coming into balance in your life and coming into creating a life that's more reflective of who you really are and what lights you up and, you know, how do you do that? I wanted to point out, and I'm not sure that I did point it out in, the, in this video, so that's why I wanted to sort of go back over it here, or maybe it, maybe I'm presenting this for the first time. I haven't seen that video. We made it about a month ago, so I haven't watched it <laughs> since we made it. Um, but I wanted to just make sure that I've covered that what happens is quite often when we are authenticating or when we're coming into our full awareness of um, who we really are, what our worth is, um, and, and start to take back our power and create a life and a lifestyle that reflects our true values and our, our passions, our gifts, what lights us up and all of that. What can happen is we're making those little changes and, and coming into that balance and alignment is that our ego <laughs> will get in the way and will try to control us we'll try to you know talk to us and speak to us in ways that say things like you're not worthy of making that change um that's too risky um you know what are you going to do for money it'll come up with all these fear-based things like if you quit your job and you do try to take on something else or become an entrepreneur or whatnot um you know, it's too much risk. You may lose your house. You may lose your car. Um, what will people think? Um, if you, you know, you've spent all that money on your education and, and you've got debt still from that that you haven't paid off and now you're saying that you want to go and do something else. Um, so then, then you have all this judgment from people or what you perceive will be judgment from people, even if they haven't even if they haven't heard your story yet, even if they don't even really know what you're planning on doing, our mind, our ego starts to insert all of these conditioning and belief systems and indoctrination and, and all of that stuff that we've grown up on and been fed our whole lives conditions us to feel and think things that may not even be true, may never even happen. And certainly that the ego can use to try to dissuade us from taking these steps into creating a more fulfilling life. So there's this aspect of ourselves that comes into question when we're confronted with this type of negative thinking and the monkey mind and the fear-based um, assumptions and, and um, doubt, doubt. It's really doubt that is created within us. And so this can be a challenge to overcome it's probably one of the biggest hurdles that there is in terms of, you know, re, re, recreating our lives in a more authentic way. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges for me was, you know, uh, 
what will people think? What will people think if I do that? What will people think if I just stop doing all of the things that I've been doing and sit still for a while? Take some time for me. Take some time to reevaluate. What will they think if I change my career? Um, so, you know, and, and I'm not even a person that really cares what other people think. <laughs> I never really have been. I mean, I lost, you know, a lot of my family and stuff years ago when I started talking about conspiracy theory things and stuff. So like, I don't even have that many people left to impress. <laughs> but still, the, when I went through this period in my own life, um, those things are still, they come in your brain. They, they're just in there. And even people that you're not, that you don't care about impressing anymore, or who maybe don't even really talk to you, your ego and your monkey mind, your reptilian brain is still going to insert those things that say, well, you're just giving them more stuff to hold against you or to have expectations about, or then you're proving them right. <laughs> you, you, you didn't, you know, measure up to whatever you, their expectations were or whatever. So these things are still going to come up no matter where you're at, no matter how much, you know, you've done your own self worth. Um, they, they still come up. It's a part of it. <laughs> and I just want to say that what we can do to overcome this is just recognize it. Recognize that this happens. It will happen. And as we continue to shift and, and authenticate our lives, um, th these things are going to start, you know, popping into our mind. And the, the key is to just recognize them as part of the process. Recognize them as... Um, you know, for what they are. They're not true. It's not true. And those, those things haven't even happened yet. So they're not true. <laughs> right? They're just assumptions that we're making based on expectations that others have of us and that we have of ourselves. And they may never come true. They might come true when we start to take those actions and people, yeah, they might say stuff to us and they might say, well, what, you're crazy. What are you doing? Why would you do that? <laughs> but at the point is that, um, we can recognize if we really sit with ourselves and allow the thoughts to come up and as they're coming up say is this really mine does this really belong to me or is this something that's planted here that maybe i planted here or that i learned along the way or that really doesn't belong to me but it's part of my conditioning and um, we can start to step more into our courage and out of the fear into the inspired action into inspiration um, rather than need or fear. And it may happen little by little. It may happen where, you know, we've got to make small moves because financially we need our income. We may not just be able to leave our job or just, just set out and embark on that trip, right? We, we may have to take small steps at first. And so um, the goal is to really get in alignment with what it is that lights us up and move in that direction, even if it's just mentally for a while. We're still going to our job every day. We're still doing, you know, we're still in that relationship. We haven't left that person. You know, we've still got bills to pay, all of that. Um, but we can start to envision and and really live into, think into, um, feel with our hearts the path that we want to take, the life that we want to lead. We can start to think about what it feels like to wake up in the morning and have that have that life, have those things, have that job, be alone, be out of the relationship, be in a different relationship. We can start to really think about that and, and live into what that is for us, envision it exactly how we want it to be, even if it's not. And that is not faking it till you make it. It's just understanding and knowing what it is that we want, what lights us up, um, what motivates us, how we want to feel, and as we get very clear on those things, we can't help but to move into that because where we spend our attention and our energy and our focus um, is, comes, becomes apparent and becomes a part of our lives because we're still we're moving and focusing in that direction. And so all of the other things that are going on just are a for now. <laughs> they're, they're something that we're doing, we're continuing to do for now well we're focused on this other and eventually the transition will happen but it's a very important piece to recognize that we are going to have that ego mind come up and the old reptilian brain that's based around fear thinking and it's going to come up and it's going to try to sabotage us and we have to watch out for those little sabotage areas and um, 
really just pay attention to them, recognize them for what they are, and keep moving. Keep moving in the direction of your dreams. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams and um, really self honor and know that you are worth it. You are worth everything. Life is a gift and it's your gift to create and share and open and play and live exactly how you want to live it. <laughs> no one else is going to do it for you. And um, I hope that this has helped you in some way. I hope to connect with you again. I hope that you'll come and take a look at the Living Better page and especially at all the changes that we're about to make as I'm really enthusiastic to get back into um, doing more with Living Better. I've kind of taken a couple of years off just to live and be a mom and and uh, really spend time with my family and my garden and there's so much that I enjoy about life that is not online. <laughs> So, but now I've been inspired to come back in and to really share the, some of the key learnings that I've, that I've had, share my writing, work in collaboration with other like-minded and like-hearted people who um, really want to live out this gift of their lives. And we're doing that on Living Better, so I encourage you to go there and check that out. And do the coloring. Get into the coloring page. Give it a try. See how you like it. And let me know. You can find me on Facebook, Christine Rose. Um, you can find me on my I Am Coming Up Roses page where I do the writing and, of course, on Living Better. So thank you so much for tuning into this um, video and for um, if you if you watched the Walk Your Talk series of videos, um, thank you for doing that and um, love you. Love you so much. Bye for now.